right. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back Jacked Up Fishing. Well, it's that time again. Got a new video for you guys. Been working on this bad boy right here. Got the radar spinning, as you can see right here in this little clip. That means she's ready to rock. I'm gonna dump her back in the water tomorrow. We're gonna get her rigged up, ready to rock, do some more tuna fishing. Well, that leads me to this video intro. Guys, I went out with my buddy Eric on the Black Pearl. He's got a 34 fountain thing really gets it we went out we had a banner day i got so much footage i'm about to split this up into two parts so this is part one and we're gonna get into it right now went out of the port went 100 miles out towards the weather buoy or where the weather buoy was and uh we got into it man we got into them uh, it was pretty much non-stop all day even on the way in we got some stuff so and you'll have to see but I'm not gonna talk anymore. We're gonna get to the video. Here we go. Fish on already, just got out here. There we go. There he goes. Got him. Got there he goes. Got him. Number three. Oh, damn. Come on, look at this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, so we had a bunch of hits. Awesome bunch of hits, but only got one on, one state button, so Matt's got them on right now. We're gonna see what they are. Kind of a weird short bike. No wonder they ain't staying buttoned. Oh yeah, Good Lord. So we got Matt on right out the gate. We're in some action. I think he's got another Skippy too, but we're gonna check him out. All yeah, right, Matt's got them all. We're going to bring this one up. Hopefully, it's something bigger. Got the sun just coming up. Get that here. You got him. Real good, dude. It's and sickle, too. Easy, easy. We are also using these gaffs made by Parties Carbon Fiber Gear. The link will be in my description below. Excellent, excellent product, veteran owned company. That's what that was on there. I just kept dropping it. I knew it was a good thing. Oh, yeah. You alright, Junior? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get this out of here somehow. He's due up to death roll. It's a, nice, it's a big old tuna. That's a good one. That's a real good one. Oh, oh. Right there. Oh, Garrett, yeah. Oh, nice, go. nice yeah. one. Get yeah. him in the boat. Yeah. All right. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Damn. Get him in the boat. Oh, baby. Yeah. That's good way to start the morning right there. Yeah, good way. What are talking about? Beautiful. Damn. Good one, nice one. And just like that, first thing in the morning, we're on the fish. As you can see, we're using a weighted sea witch with a ballyhoo. Um, about 25 yards of fluorocarbon, 80 pounds. So we got one on the first pass there. Well, turned around, we're hitting them again. Hopefully we get more on this turn. We'll see. 
Got some birds flying all around us. Seas are a little choppy, but we're marking them, so that's all that matters. Running a five rod spread. We got one on the outrigger, one on flat on both sides, and then our shotgun. We got an aluminum cedar plug out back. So when you see fish popping all around the boat, it's just so hard not to grab the popper and start trying to pop them. We have yet to catch one on a popper. I guess we just need to stop and play with them a little bit, but it's hard to do that when you're on the troll catching them. So the seas are kicking up a little bit. The birds are still working, as you can see. You see some fish busting the surface, um, but they're all grouped up real tight right here. We're trolling right around them, and hopefully we can get into them. I was able to get a good footage of the fish busting with my phone, as you can see. And they are really blowing up birds all around them. You can really see they're there. So we made one pass by them, didn't get a hit, but now we're on our second pass by them. Just trying to stay on the outside of them. We don't want to go through the center of them. That's how you spook them and make them sound go down deep. We don't want that. We want them on the surface. And this is what they look like right here. You want to just keep working all around the school and you'll eventually pick them up as long as your baits are looking good. Seeing this school this tight like this right next to the boat just gets you pumped up. Cannot wait for the hit. Usually it's on within seconds. Sometimes it isn't, but this usually is the way it happens. All right, we just got one on. We had a couple of bites. Just one good one on so far. Lee's got them on. You like good fish, Lee? He's solid. Solid, he says, solid. Yeah, you got it. Come on, man. You're I mean, if you're, you can't handle it. If you can't handle it, Lee, we understand. If you can't reel to it. I'll still let you get a fish. I don't mind you. It's cool. <laughs> It's cool if you can't handle it, Lee. I like you. Those guys will get that thing from you. There's all oh, kinds God. of tuna. Wow. Get out of the way, dude. Move me. Move me. Move me. Move me. It's not a shark. Is it a shark? It's a shark. Get his ass in the boat. Horse's ass. Oh, it's a small shark. Fish. Okay. That's a gaff. Suck a gaff. Suck a gaff. That guy's going to rip. Damn. Nice. Woo. Good job. One, I thought it was gonna rip, Smith. Oh, that's right there. <laughs> yeah, that's a hoss. Good, good fish. Look at that thing. Good job, Lee. Oh yeah. There you go, buddy. Nice. Nice. All right, well, we yeah. swung back around on these fish. Massive we were able to get a double hookup. I got one on. Smith's got one on. I'm on a 50 wide Tiagra with a standard uh, 50 to 80 pound trolling rod, and uh, it, it screamed offline big time. This is a big fish right here, dude. This is a good one too, man. I seen them start exploding. That's a big fish. Yeah, I know. Yeah, is that a bird framing? Yeah, the bird right behind him. Try to keep an eye on that frigate, dude. It's a big fish right here, man. I'm not gaining nothing. So as we get closer, we notice our lines are crossed. So we got to get them untangled, and hopefully we can get them without losing a fish. You feel it rubbing? Oh, yeah. No, it don't Move that gaff, Matt. Let me bring that rod around. I don't want to draw them, Matt. This is where having teamwork, a good team, really helps get the fish in the boat. Everybody working together, communicating, and you can get a lot of fish in the boat at once. I'm gonna try to help you a little bit, Garrett, without the bill no, he's doing it up here. Smith putting the work in. He's on the top shot. All there is. Stay straight, Jimmy. I see him. Come on, he's right there. Dude, he's mean. He, yeah. He's four foot, five foot long.
Let me see what it is. This year has been incredible. The size of the fish have been super big. So these little fish were in the 70 to 80 pound class, like I said earlier. Unreal, unreal amount of fish, and they fight all the way to the boat. All I'm gonna say is if you don't get stoked when you see this right here come up to the surface, uh, you ain't living. Oh, no, 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 let him go again. Let him go, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Don't you go back, man. Don't make a fight. Here, hold this, son. Negative, hold on. You want to just move that? You got it right now. Oh! Somebody get him! Somebody get him! Get him again! Get him again! Come on, man! All right, you got him. Two in, two in. All right, back to the other thing. About a 70 pounder in a boat, working on number two. Actually, number four. That's a big boy right here, big boy. Whew. Where's the frigates at? See the frigates go by? Hey, back over by that. Yeah, there was one. There's some smaller birds. Whoo! Got one of the buckets out there, Lee. Oh, they're not in there. They're on that side. They're on that side. Oh, yeah. Love you. Beating up. There you go. Come oh. on, Copage. Bro. Give it some. It's a big fish right here, I think. Yeah, buddy. We got color down here. Yeah, we do. It's up in front of you, Simmons. Back right. Maybe right. some gas. Get ready yeah. to crank, Bill. Yeah. Woo! You see that? See him beating up? Dripping. All right. All right. Oh, right. whoa, whoa. Oh. Easy. We are really playing the fish near the boat. We hate bringing fish all the way to the boat, get them close, and you lose them right at the boat. So when they get close, we take extra special care, try not to lose the fish by keeping the line off the boat and don't do anything dramatic. Trying to get the motor every time. Nice and easy, boys. They should be a little more wore out than the other one. I know Bill is. Played him a good while. This is a pretty good fight. There he is. Wow. wow. You might be able to nah. I'll wait. One more. Hold on. One more, yeah. Alright, this might be it right here. One more circle. Oh, come on, come on, baby. Oh, oh my God, I'm telling you, man, I know. This might be it. Strike. Down, down. This fish had heart. It would not give up. It kept going down. It did not want to give up, and I was putting the heat on it. Yes! Put him in the boat, baby! Whoa. Yeah! Oh, I went deep for him! Buddy. Yeah, you did! To the bottom, one Whoa. arm! Holy shit! Yeah! Yeah, yeah buddy! Yeah. Good Holy deal! Crap. Hey, we called that right there. That fish plum wore me out. These fish were solid. They did not want to give up. They had so much heart. Really good sized fish, and there it is. Awesome day. I got him in. We all got him in. That was a toughie. That's probably the hardest tuna I ever fought. About a 70 pound class model. Nice. We're already back out. Got our spread back out. Let's get on them. Hopefully, we get more. All right, we found some birds. We found some birds. We're going to get ready to throw the baits out. So, we're on them birds. We got to capitalize on this because you can see behind me. We have a bunch of storms heading our way. We don't have time long. We don't have long before we got to get in. So we're going to try to capitalize on this pack of birds right here. I don't see any fish yet. Well, let's see what we do. All right, we see some fish busting. Think we're going to get into them. Fingers crossed, here we go. Look at all these birds. 
Here we go. One on, one on the. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. Wow. Making a squall. Well, guys, as you see on the video, we got some quality fish, quality fish. They were in the 70 to 80 pound range and they were big, man. I was stoked to get them. We didn't have many, uh, you know, quadruple hookups or anything like that, mainly two and three hookups. We'd land one or two, but other than that, uh, that's, that's pretty much what it was all day long, as you can see from what we caught so far. Part two is pretty epic. You got to see that. We got into some really cool stuff, and I'll have that video out in a week or two for you guys. But on this one, that's it. That's how I got. I had to leave this one. We had so much footage, like I said, that I had to split it up. So um, on the next one as well, I'm going to do a catch, clean, and cook on tuna. Well, that's all I got for you on this video. Hopefully, y'all like it. Leave a comment below if you uh, go out here and go tuna fishing. Let me know what works for you guys. And uh, I have another seminar coming up. And if you want to go to that, I'll put the link in the description below for you. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Jacked up out. <laughs>